Hello. Hi, Omar. How are you? I'm fine. Now you can hear me? Yes, I can hear you very well. How's your day so far? It's good. Okay, great. Great. So, are you ready for today? Yes. Okay, great. So, let's get started. So, we said we're going to continue from the, the student book, right? Yes. So we're go we are going to continue from the from here, right? So a day in the life of a firefighter, correct? Yes. Okay, great. So what do you think? No, that... no, the, is it level ten? Unit uh, seven. Call an ambulance, right? Yes. 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 Call an ambulance seven. So we're gonna complete it here today, in order to finish it. And we are going then to, um, you know, like solve the homework a little bit or, you know, work from the workbook. Okay, so a day in the life of a firefighter. Okay, so I want you to read this text and tell me what it's talking about. Okay. Rob Elot has worked as a firefighter for eight years and he loved his job. Job day starts at 9 a.m. Rob and the test of the of his crew meet in front of the fire station to give their instruction for the day. If the day is different, this will be on some days I drive the fire engine. On other days I will breathe uh, a course to enjoy every part of my job. Job has been rescued people for crying situation. We get called to road accidents. Food, fail, and air crashing. Chemicals split. Says Rob. But firefighters do not rescue people. They get first aid and they clean up and uh, check after the accident or they said. Uh, they often work together the police and the paramedic paramedics. 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 With the police paramedics. and paramedics, they also train people in fire safety. Okay, so this is a day in a firefighter. Yes. Okay, so go ahead, continue. Today, Rob and Jenny, another firefighters, but we're busy uh, checking busy. the equipment. We're busy checking, checking the equipment. Checking the equi mm -hmm. equipment. There were two people trapped at the upper stage uh, bedroom. The firefighters ran up. There is one of the rest of the team used horses to put out the fire. Rob and Jenny found a mother and daughter in one bedroom. They opened a window and helped the mother and her little girl to climb down the ladder. Soon the fire was out and everyone was safe. And it's still only 11 o'clock. Okay. All right, so this is a Dana firefighter. So Rob Elliott, the, this person, has worked as a firefighter for eight years, and he loves his job. Rob's day starts at 9 a.m. Rob and the rest of his crew. Well, so what does it mean by crew? Crew means the team. Yes. Meet in front of on the fire a station to get their instructions for the day. Every day uh, is different, says Rob. When some days... On some days, I drive the fire engine. On other days, I wear the breathing apparatus. I enjoy every part of my job. So I wear a breathing apparatus as like, uh, you know, a mask or something in order to breathe on it and just go into the fire. Rob has rescued people from all kinds of situations. We, got, we get called to road accidents, floods, rail and air crashes or chemical spills says Rob. But firefighters do more than rescue people. What does it mean by rescue people? Uh, yeah, like help or uh, prevent them from save accidents people. like that. Yes, rescue means save, save. to save people. They yes. give first aid and they clean up and check sites after an accident or disaster. They often work together with the police and paramedics. They also train people in fire safety. So train people, make them trained you know, and work with them in fire yeah. safety. So today, Rob and Jenny, another firefighter, were busy checking the equipment. But suddenly there was a call. 
a house was on fire and there were two people trapped. Okay, so they were in the house and upstairs bedroom. The firefighters jumped into the fire engines and raced to the house. Rob and Jenny ran upstairs while the rest of the team used hoses to put out the fire. What does it mean by hoses? Mm, this, this one, okay? The one that you put, okay. like, you put the fire with? Pipe. Okay, okay pipe full of water. Uh, Rob and Jenny found a mother and daughter in one of the bedrooms. They opened the window and helped the mother and her little girl to climb down a ladder. Okay, Salim. Soon the fire was out and everyone was safe. And it's still only 11 o'clock, said Rob. Okay, so here we're going to answer these questions. So does Rob always drive the fire engine? No, he doesn't. Does Rob enjoy his job? Uh, yes. Yes, he does. Okay. Number three. The firefighter gave first aid. Yes. Yes. Yes, they do. Uh, what? Yes, they do. Yes, they the do. answer. Okay. Where the people trapped downstairs? The people in the house were trapped downstairs. Yeah, in a bedroom. Down the stairs or upstairs? They were upstairs, so no. Uh, upstairs. They weren't. Uh, they were. Did Rob and Jenny use hoses to put out the fire? Yes. Yes, they were. Rob and Jenny found a mother and a daughter in the house, so the rest of the team used the hoses to put out the fire, so not Rob and Jenny. <coughs> So, no, they didn't. They rescued the people in the house, the mother yeah. and the daughter. Did Rob yeah. and Jenny help the mother and daughter? Yes, they Yes, eh? They did. They did. Yeah. did. Okay, Focus. yes, he did. They did. Because Rob and Jenny were talking about both. It's plural. Okay, so hose along a tube that you use to put water on a fire, as we said, like a hose, right? So hoses, they use the hoses to put out the fire. So along a tube that you use to put water on fire. Number two, verb, to teach people how to do something. Uh, to teach people how to do something? Yes, what is uh... it? Teach. Hmm? Teach. Train, train. I want. Yes, train. We, okay. we want. We want the 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 verb is from the reading that we just that train. Okay. Train is to teach train. people how to do something. Noun, a place where something happened or is happening. Uh, let's let's put it down there. So something happened or. It's happening. Uh, okay. From the underlined underlined expressions here and words. Okay, okay. Checking sites. Check sites. Yes. yes. Check sites. Right. Okay, good. Number four. Now and when a lot of water suddenly covers a place. Okay. Uh... A lot of water. <laughs> Suddenly covers a place. What's the word for it? Flood. Floods. Yes. Flood. Well, if I'm yes. wrong. Exactly. Five. And now a special mask that helps you breathe when there is a lot breathing of smoke apart. on fire. Yes, breathing. Okay. Number six. A dangerous thing that suddenly happens, for example, a fall or a car crash. Accident. Accident. To look at something carefully to make sure it's safe. Check. A check. Yes, check. That's that's great. It's a verb. To take someone away from a dangerous place to a safe place. 
Tech site. Secure. Secure people. To take them from okay. a place to another place or a safe place. Secure or save. Okay. That's a different. Okay. Okay. Great job. All right. So uh, why has the lady made the phone call? Of course, we don't have this one in here or the listen part is not. Okay. So we're going to skip this part. All right. So speaking, ask and answer. Use the prompts. All your own answers. So for which emergency, which, which service? Please fire ambulance. Yes. Emergency. Mm, police. So you call the police if there is an emergency. You also you call an ambulance if there is an accident. Okay. So it has like two answers. Okay. So what's your name, please? So the call, when you call uh, for an emergency service, they mm -hmm. ask you for your name. What's your name, please? You say your name, right? So it's, what's your name? Yes, it's uh, Omar. Okay, where are, My name is Omar. where are you calling from? The home address. I am at 666 Blom Giza, I am uh, at... whatever. So what's the emergency? Okay. Okay, there's a fire. A fire. Okay, so how many people need help? Nine. Okay, help is on its way. Please stay calm. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, so this is a call. When you call for an emergency, the call, it's like this. Okay, so take emergency. So I need an ambulance. I need uh, like police or there is a fire there. So they ask you for your name and where are you calling from to come and get you or help the people there. And what's in the emergency? how many people need help okay and they'll just take the information and that's it okay start reading this article basketball star saves family okay cool basketball stars Dave Perry Adjit in the in is in hospital after a fire in his home and park uh, last night the fire started when an electric heater and the Perry living Room caught fire. The family were asleep in bed, but the smoke alarm woke shake up. He called the emergency service, and the and then woke up with his parents and his sister Jenny. It did it. The fire break rescued the family from the house, and for took Jake and his family to hospital. Jake's parents and Sister have already gone home, and Jake will be out of a hospital later today. Firefighters will stand the Jake said uh, Jake was very brave. He saw it quickly, and he saved his family. Jake told reporters he was looking forward and going back uh, to school to play in an important basketball match on friday on friday okay great so yeah. the basketball star here age 12 jake perry is in a hospital after a fire at his home in park road last night so the fire started when an electric heater and at perry's living room caught fire okay so the yeah. electric heater just caught the fire and the family were all asleep in bed okay so but the smoke alarm just wait just to, uh, or wake jake up okay so uh, he got up and he called the emergency services and then woke up his parents and his sister jenny aged eight the fire brigade rescued the family okay the fire brigade who are the fire brigade these people firefighters okay from the house and the paramedics took jake and his family to the hospital uh, Jake's parents and sister have already gone home and Jake will be out of hospital later today. Firefighter Bill Sanders said that Jake was very brave. What does it mean by brave? Means? Brave means uh, uh, like uh, don't care about its risk or, no, or danger. Or no. Yes. He thought quickly and he saved his family. Jake told the reporters he was looking forward to going back to school to play. In an important basketball match on Friday. Okay, so how did the fire start? Question here. How did the fire start? Okay, uh, it starts when an electric heater in Paris living. 
room. Uh, yes, this one. Fire. Exactly, cloud fire. Who called the fire brigade? Okay. Uh, who, uh, who called the, the, uh, the emergency? Who uh, was that? Jake Perry. Jake Perry. Exactly, good job. All right. So number the parts okay. on the, okay. of the okay. newspaper okay. report and the correct order. Okay. So after what happened, a newspaper report. Okay, when you see it, when you when you watch the reports of the accident already happened, so it's gonna be in the news, right? So uh, what's gonna be the news report? Uh, it's gonna be look like. So when we write a news report, we include a headline title of the report. Until this tells us what the report is about, like basketball star saves family, right? So like this one, this is a report, okay? So after you put the title of the report, a short introduction, this tells us the most important parts of the story, but not all the details. Like a school basketball star, Jake Perry, aged 12, was in a hospital after a fire at his home in Park Road last night. A main body, the main body which tells up the details of the fire or what actually happened. And then a conclusion that tells us what happened in the end and what people said about the event. Like firefighter Bill Sanders said that Jake was very brave. He thought quickly and he saved his family. So I want you to uh, to order this newspaper report like this. Family trapped in flood. This is the main article. This is the title. Okay, the headline. Family trapped in flood. The last one is number two. Amy Hicks, aged 11, and her brother Tim, aged 9, were at home with their parents when the river near uh, their house floated and filled the street with water. Um, quickly moved upstairs and called the emergency service. A firefighter arrived in the boat and rescued the family. Okay. What about two children and their parents are safe after a flood trapped them in their home yesterday? Okay, so okay, this is number two. Okay, if I, what the, where is number three? Okay, number three. Uh, uh, the second one, Emma said to the firefighters were amazing. They arrived so quickly, uh, she said. Mr. and Mr. Ted to report that they are very glad that the emergency service were so uh, 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 organized. I'm very glad that the emergency service were so organized. Okay, good. Two children and their parents are safe after a flood trapped them in their home yesterday. This is the conclusion, right? That's yeah. it. Amazing. Good job. Okay, here is a quiz. Complete the quiz here. Now, a place where fire or heat has hurt your skin. Burn. What? Burn. I cannot hear the word. Burn, burn. Burn? Yes. But burn is a verb. We need a noun here. A place where fire or heat has hurt your skin. We took it. I, yes, burn. A burn. Burn? Yes, a burn. A burn. What about the bruise? Mm, we took burn also. Yes, I know we took burn. Okay, yes, burn. Okay, good job. <laughs> okay, who do the children help in the story? They are talking about the first one. Do you remember the one that we talked uh, yesterday, uh, last night, uh, yeah, the last yeah. session? They are talking about the yeah. conversation that happened. So who did the, the, who do the children help in the story? I think it was a football uh, player or a famous one, like a man. Like yes, a, yes, a, a famous man. football player in the town. Yes, so circle the correct word in the sentence. Please put on or off your jacket. It's cold today. Put on. Put on. Okay. Number four, complete the sentence. We don't like playing basketball, said the boys. The boys said they play in basketball. Uh, like. They like playing basketball. Good. Five, complete the sentence. My day is working. My dad is working today, said Carl. Carl said his dad. Uh, his dad. Uh, 
was working. Was working. Good job. Yes. Six. Complete the sentence. We're going to the park tomorrow, said the children. The children said they. Uh, we're going. We're going to the park next day. Amazing. Who did Rob and Jenny rescue? Uh, and Jenny. And the first story? Uh, no, it's uh, Rob and Jenny. We talked about them in the firefighter. A day in the firefighter. Just... The first, the first story we talked today. Who did oh, they help? Okay, okay, okay. The first one uh, we talked today. Okay. Yes. Uh, they few. Uh, two people. Uh, yes, two. A people. mother and daughter in a house. Oh uh, yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Number eight. Yes. Verb to teach people how to do something. What is the word? Uh, train. Train. Good job. Nine. Right. I, introduction, or C, conclusion. Okay. So a police officer, Christopher Harris, said that to Toby was a very brave boy. He's the kind of person we need in the police force. He said. This is an introduction or a conclusion? Uh, C, conclusion. conclusion. Yes, good job. A 12-year-old boy stopped a man from stealing from a shop in the town center yesterday. Uh, introduction. Introduction. Okay, write introduction yeah. or conclusion as well. Number 10. 10 year old student Karen Wellers saved a little boy's mm. life when he fell into the river. Uh, uh, introduction. Okay, Karen said that she was glad the boy was safe. I hope he won't play here, the river, conclusion. near the river again. He said, conclusion. Amazing. Good job. So, whenever you're in danger, there is a song. Okay, I want you to like, okay, order it and sing it whenever you're in danger. Okay. Sometimes there is a disaster. Disasters. Uh, there are disasters. What does it mean by disasters? Uh, I don't know. Disaster means carthan, catastrophe. Uh, catastrophe, disaster. Yeah. Okay, something accident or crash, something like that. So there is a disaster. Uh, sometimes when there are disasters, okay, go, go ahead. Okay, sometimes there is a disaster. There are people you can call. Then all happens to us all. But you can, but you, but when you are in a trouble. Mm -hmm. Okay, second one. Police and farmers. Uh, paramedics. Farmers. It's, called, it's pronounced paramedics. paramedics. Yes, paramedics. Pa paramedics. Yeah. Okay, whenever them, you yeah. are in a danger, whenever you are in, uh, in a danger, they will come to rescue you. Uh, brave firefighters. Mm hmm. Uh, uh, the last one. So accidents can happen. Uh, you uh, just pick up your telephone. Uh, there are people around the corner, but you are never in your own. Good job. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, so now we finished seven. Okay, unit seven. Okay, so uh, let's get to the homework. Okay. Does Ed want to be a doctor? Uh, Number two, does Ed want to be a doctor? Yes. No, 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 no. Oh, well, I don't think so. Yes, Ed Maybe so. Yes. I don't think so. I mean, Bentham Zach, Has a man fallen off his bike? Mm, no, uh, no. What are not uh, No, yes, yes. Yes. So a man fall off his bike. Was a bike. So yes, yes. Eba, the middle he gave us. Yes, he. Yes, he. Is. He has. Yes, he was. He has. Was what? Was Finn? Was it to give him name? I didn't behave. 
Salim has Salim does the Banabago, yes, he does, no, she doesn't, uh, has, yes, he has, no, he hasn't. Practice. Do they use Finn's phone to call an ambulance? Do they use Finn's phone to call an ambulance? Yes, yes, they use. Yet they do. Yes, they do. Do. They do. They do. 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 Had the man broken his arm? Uh, no. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. No, no he, he hasn't. hasn't. I, okay. Do the children support the man's leg? Um, uh, yeah, they support. They did. Oh, they do. Yes, they do. And I was like, this short answer, okay. this short answer. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. أو بداز أو بإيه بالفعل اللي إحنا already إيه سائلين بيه في الأول فلما بجاء في short answer طالما سأل بإس ببجاء أو yes he is or no he isn't does يبقى yes he does or no he doesn't okay. this short answer لنا عوزة منك okay 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 good job okay do uh, okay is the man a very good footballer yes yes he is yeah. Let's go. Okay, so after like about number the events in the correct order. Okay, so number one, the children did a first aid okay. course at the DSD club. Where is number two? Okay. They saw uh, a man full of his work. Uh, number H. For what? They saw a man fall off his bike. Now, Libby and Kate were talking about the course. Right? Okay. Right. Right. Type by the They saw a man fall off his bike. Three. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay, it called the, the ambulance. No, ambulance. Let me help it support the patient's head first. Okay. But the kid it was looking at his first aid kit. The first aid kit. Oh, buddy, I'm a kid called an ambulance. Tamam. Seven. Okay. Oh, okay. The paramedics um, came and gave yeah, the man first uh, aid. The and then the man went to, to the hospital. Eight. hospital. Good job. Okay. What are three things you can do to help if you see an accident? So tell me about three things that you can do if you see an accident. What can you do if you saw an accident? Okay. The first one, uh, I will see the, the place that uh, he got an injured in and the second uh, thing I will do I will uh, take the first aid kit and uh, and make his leg or even an uh, arm or anything and the last thing I will call the ambulance to come to take him uh, that's uh, the Time. Uh, I broke my arm and I had to have it in a sling for four weeks. So the mechanic man. I fell over in the park and now I've got a big purple on my leg. I fell over in the park okay. and now I've got a big purple Ava on my leg. Uh, no, Bruce. Bruce. Bruce, yes. Okay. Number three. They took that to the hospital in an ambulance. They took that patient. Patient. Tamam. Uh, dead. Four. Dad touched the hot oven and now he has uh, on his hand. A burn. A burn. Yes. Uh, he, the nurse put a around my knee to support it plaster plaster or a bandage 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 
Uh, Leela fell off her bike. She has a on her hand. Nina, she has a uh, cut. A cut. Mom cleaned the cut and put a. A first aid kit. A, a plaster. A plaster, eh? On it. Mom keeps a in the car. A first aid a kit. A first aid kit. Damn Hell wow. Match the pictures to the phrasal verbs. Look after. Number two. And number two. Drop them. No. Cheer up. Cheer up. يعني خليك تضحك أو تبتسم. حد بي cheer you up. حد بي خليك تبتسم وبتضحك كده. Cheer up. Look after. يعني تاني بي. Cheer up. يعني إيه؟ يعني ضحكك أو يبتسمك كده. Like this little boy. Number three. Number three. Number three. Hand out. لا بقى drop off. Drop off يعني يرجع حاجة. Return to something back. Hand out بقى هي دي. Okay. When you hand out to someone, you gesture like that. Okay. Okay.